Hello everyone, Eldrick here, and welcome to Kingdoms of Amalur. This here is one of my favorite RPGs. I love this game. I've never personally have beat it, but in the times that I have played it in the past, I absolutely loved it. And you're going to have to excuse my voice, I'm fighting a cold right now. But we're going to hop into this adventure and hopefully try to beat it. Okay, so let's start a new game, and we'll start on hard. From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable faithful. <laughs> but Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fey were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Perhaps two of are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged, for ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written, at least, that is what we believed, until you died. What do you think this one is then? Alpha? The line? Could even be a Jotun? Always a surprise, eh, Gran? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. I don't know what was happening with the screen there. <laughs> Okay, so we can pick our character now. We can choose between an Olmain, a Varani, Lazafar, and a Dokulfar. So, let's see. I'm gonna go with a Varani. And choose the War Patreon bonus. That'll give me a 5% physical damage increase. And a plus 5% in armor. And we'll just go with this preset. The Ferrani. Must have been a mercenary, come to fight in the war. I could have told him how he'd end up. Not in bad shape though, all things considered. Alright then, make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. 
I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Okay, let's name our character here. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. And we're off on our adventure in our first active quest, Out of the Darkness. Let's run up here, see what kind of loot we can pick up. Ten gold. Pick up disposal notes. Experiment disposal. Secrecy is still important in our work, requiring specialized disposal of our unfortunate failures. Piling remains have become a concern in the lower caverns, so an incinerator has been headed to deal with the waste. This should make disposal work slightly less horrible, although you should avoid drinking water from downstream of the ash dumps. Hardly a fitting rest for the poor things, but it's an any consolation these weren't their original bodies in the first place. Formerous Hughes. Okay, we'll take that. Let's pull this lever. Goodbye, skeleton. And let's loot this rusty sword. And equip it. Nice. No, this is already bringing back so many good memories. Run. Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might she of the owned. Let's break these boxes and these barrels up here. Let's see if there's any items in there. Okay, we have some rats. And they're both dead. Stay away. Run, little gnomes. Okay, we have some more breakables here. Okay, we found nineteen gold. These guys here. Yeah, 
And he's dead. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, if you hadn't come along, I, wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You. You were dead. It worked. By the tomb, it worked. You're alive. What happened to me? Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls and somehow it worked. The well restored your soul to your body and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Professor Formerus Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Let me get this door, and we can be on our way. Okay, let's loot these bodies here. Uh, you go first. chest over here. Okay, now that we have some armor, let's equip that stuff. We'll equip the battered armor, the worn leggings, and the old boots. Alright, so we're looking pretty good now. It looks so cool. Is here. I have a crate over here and a, a chest. Flimsy greaves and two lockpicks. I think I'll keep the critical damage on. Lockpicks and a minor healing potion. And we have a shield. So let's equip that. Wait, do you hear something? There we go. That one had a bow. 
Get it? Okay, we have a bow now. Crude birch longbow. We'll equip that. And just to keep these videos fairly short for the time being, let's cut this video here. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Kingdoms of Amular. Until then, please be safe, keep gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.